special thanks to Marshalls for sponsoring this video. It's Raven, welcome back to another vlog. For today's vlog, I just wanted to do like a follow me around, spend the day with me, day in the life type vlog. So I'm just taking you from morning, you know, all the way through my whole day. They're doing construction. I'm in my garage right now because I am getting ready to A, take Zaya to swim lessons, B, take her to school, See, I'm loading up my car because I have a bunch of stuff that I need to take to Habitat for Humanity. So sorry again for the construction noise, but this is all this stuff that I am taking to Habitat for Humanity. It's like my old light fixtures, not old, they're actually brand new. It's just the light fixtures that were the standard ones that kind of like came with the house, but I replaced them. So I have two of those big light fixtures. I also have my shower, like my plumbing fixture, since I replaced everything with matte black. I have like that towel rack that I took out of my um, bathroom in one of my last videos. So this is all stuff that I could try to sell on Craigslist or whatever, but I wouldn't make that much money off of it, and I really feel like Habitat for humanity is a better place to just go ahead and donate it. Ready for swim lessons? A little nervous? That's okay. You did good last week. Today is your second week and you're gonna do really good. We're going to swim lessons and then to school, okay? All right, so psych, no swim lessons today. We literally pulled up to the pool and right when we walked up to the gate, someone was like, no, don't go in there. Someone just pooped in the pool and I was like, uh, thanks for telling us. So I saw a swim teacher and she was like, yeah, swim lessons are canceled for today. There's been an accident. And then I see like a guy fishing around with a net and he pulls out like a big skin. It was disgusting. So anyway, no swim lessons today. I'm just gonna take Zaya to school. She's just been going to school late. Like she's been taking some lessons in the morning and then getting to school late and then having the rest of her school day. But today she'll just get to go straight to school. I forgot something at home so I'm grabbing that real quick. And then my mom had actually met up with us at the pool because she was wanting to see how Zaya's swim lessons were going. But swim lessons got canceled. So now my mom is just going to ride with us to drop Zaya off at school. And then we are going to run some errands. We're going to go shopping. We're going to have a little bit of a lunch meeting. You know, my mom is my momager so we do everything together. Okay. Okay, so I'm with my mom and we just pulled up to Marshall's. I wanted to look at their home decor section for obvious reasons, but I also wanted to look at their clothes for me and for Zaya. So just do a little bit of shopping. They're so cute. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> they're only $2.99 each. I think those would look good like all three in a row somewhere. Like three in a row. Get three of them? Well, they're only $5, so. I am planning a housewarming party. It's gonna be like a little, a little grown up appetizers, barbecue, you know? So I wanna get like some nice, what do you call it? Trays and things to make like a shark. Charcuterie, I can't say that word. Charcuterie <laughs> display of like all the cheeses and the, you know, appetizers. So I need like boards and stuff like this. This would be cute for the party to like put appetizers on or whatever. I've seen on Instagram where like people get like a few of these things and like lay them out all on my bar and then like have like food on here. And this one actually spins around. It's like a lazy season. Ooh, yeah. 
a big one that spins and a smaller one that just sits there. What I love about shopping at Marshalls is that they have such a nice variety of different items from home decor to kids clothes, clothing and shoes for me, bags, beauty products, so much different stuff and everything is at such a great price. I know that every time I go in there I am bound to find a Marshalls surprise. <laughs> for my vacation that I'm never going on. I don't have time for vacation, but I can look like I'm on vacation. Pretend like I'm on vacation. As you guys know, I only have um, one type of bag in my collection if you saw that other video that I did. So I probably need to switch it up. So I think I'm definitely gonna get this. It's a really good price compared to the ones that I've been seeing online. So I was really wanting to take like a big summer vacation trip, but that didn't really fall through. But I am going on a little trip with Zaya. You guys will actually see coming up in a future vlog. So I'm gonna get like some some little like mini vacation type outfits, not full beach wear, but I think I deserve to at least pretend like I'm taking a real summer vacation. So I'm getting some like little crop tops. I got my little beach bag in here. And then I'm also gonna look for some stuff for Zaya for the trip too. That's cool. This for Zaya vacation. It's a really cute little windbreaker for fall and it's like $14.99. $14.99. So I found some really good basics because you can never have enough of those and then some cute options for my little mini vacation. So I'm just gonna try everything on. Okay, so I'm pretty much getting everything. They were pretty much all yeses. It's just the dress just didn't fit me right, but everything else fit, looks really nice. I think it'll be really cute for my trip too. And I got some really good basics. These bodysuits, y'all. I have a problem with finding bodysuits that like fit me because I have a long torso, but these fit super nice. And I also found a bunch of stuff for Zaya too. So I'm excited about that. We are gonna be looking cute on our trip. I found so many items that are perfect for my trip and my housewarming party at really great prices. And now I challenge you guys to head into Marshalls and find your hashtag Marshall surprise. Okay, just left Marshalls now. We are going to take a lunch break. This is technically a business lunch because I have to talk to my manager about some business things, okay? So this housewarming party that's coming up in a month, I guess. Well, we have like a month. That's a good amount of time. It's gonna be first week of September. How many people? Yeah. Yeah, it looks great. Thank you. So we are literally mapping out how my housewarming party is gonna be set up and like how I want all the food to be displayed and stuff like that. So I have like the kitchen area, living room area, and my patio. So this is the patio not that my scale. mom is drawing. It is not to scale. <laughs> kind of. And we're like looking on Pinterest, of course, for ideas. So I think this is cute. I have like a drink station. I definitely want to have plants and fresh flowers maybe. Bites and candles and stuff for when the sun goes down. Candles, like sitting next to the floor. Lanterns or candles. Okay, just pulled up to the Habitat for Humanity donation drop off. My mom's driving because I did not know where the heck this place was. But it's like this. Let me see if I can show you. So basically, if you don't know, Habitat for Humanity is where you can donate like house type things. They build homes for low income people. And you know, if they've got some new or nearly new fixtures to put in, then that's a couple of less fixtures that they have to um, buy. Oh, that's fine. We've been really lucky. I had to get stitches on my knee. Oh, yeah, I saw you shirt. limping. I was like, yeah, I'm um, like, here's your report. And all of that. All of that. Just didn't want to take it. Yeah, out. all of that. Oh. 
that goes with I think this lamp right here can we take the mirror we can't can. take the mirror not without the frame okay so there's that done he was super thankful to receive the stuff because it was all brand new and he was like they'll definitely make good use out of it so I feel good about donating that stuff here rather than like I said trying to sell it but something I learned is that these donation places they will not take frameless mirrors I have three frameless mirrors I'm trying to get rid of a Salvation Army wouldn't take it this place won't take it because apparently it's like a safety hazard because it can like cut you if I don't know so I'm still trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with all these big mirrors he did recommend one other donation place that he said might take it but I have a gut feeling that they probably have the same policy as every other donation place so um, if anybody has any ideas comment down below what I can do with these big frameless mirrors please all right so I am back home now my mom went Went back to her house she's not really feeling well it's actually already 4 p.m. which is just like this day has already gone by and I still have more stuff that I need to do I uh, just unloaded the car all the stuff that we got from Marshall's should I do a little haul so a really quick little Marshall's haul just in case you didn't see exactly what I bought I got this tray really nice heavy tray um, just to have but also mainly for the housewarming party then i got two of these wooden block board things this one just has pegs on the bottom this one is actually a lazy susan so slightly bigger slightly smaller also for the housewarming party and my mom and i like kind of planned the whole party at lunch so now i have a much better idea of actually what i'm gonna do and what i'm gonna need for that i was kind of worried about it because I just hadn't planned anything and a lot of like most of the people on the guest list are coming from out of town so i wanted to make sure i plan it way in advance give people time to like get flights and stuff it's like this big deal so i'm feeling better about that got these three plants these are fake plants three matching ones bowls you guys saw in the store i got four of those i got two sets of these stimulus wine glasses i got the shorter set which i think is for red wine and the slightly like taller more elongated set which is for white wine I think these two outfits for Zaya got her a really nice jacket for the fall as well got my vacation purse which I'm actually really excited about I think this is really cute the checkout lady was from the Philippines and she was like you know in my country you can get these bags easy for like five dollars you can get them like anywhere one two three four crop tops and then I got the two body suits a white one so they're just like plain like tank top type bodysuits but like with a really good material and they fit really well white one and then the same thing in black and lastly I think this is the last thing these really cute little brown sandals for Zaya to kind of go with her little outfits and stuff and yeah I think that's everything so now I have uh, about an hour before I have to go pick up Zaya and I have a video that needs to be reviewed i guess you guys know i'm working with an editor now that helps me obviously edit some of my youtube videos she doesn't just edit all of them for me it's just like certain ones that i'll have her do or like we kind of like collaborate on it so i still am very much so involved she just texted me and said that she is sending over a video that she edited so i need to watch it review it and let her know if there's any changes that I need her to make, things like that. It's also a sponsored video that she was working on, so it's a little bit more like important, you know, to make sure that everything is right. My office is still looking the same way from when I first moved in, not put together at all. I have quite a bit left to do on the house in general, and I'm trying to decide like which rooms I need to prioritize first because I still have my bedroom, I have Zaya's bedroom, I have the office, I have the glam room, I mean the mail room, the laundry room, I mean pretty much every room except for like the kitchen and my bathroom. Like the kitchen and my bathroom and my closet are kind of like the only spaces that are kind of like done at least to a certain extent. Every other room in the house still needs like a lot of furniture and a lot of work i think the glam room is going to be a top priority just because i'm supposed to be using that space to create content and i haven't been able to create that content 
because the space is not ready and that's kind of holding me back with work. I think I showed you guys this already, but this is what the glam room looks like right now. Literally just a big old pile of makeup. All these boxes and bins have all my makeup in it. And then over on this wall, it's just kind of like the random furniture and stuff and things that like I want to have in here, but it just hasn't been set up at all, obviously. And then through here, there's, you know, the full bathroom and everything, which nobody has ever used this shower yet. Nobody really ever uses this toilet or anything. I've come in here to do my makeup a few times just because all my makeup is like in this room. So since the room itself is not set up yet, I've been coming in here to do my makeup, but it also has the closet which is actually where I think I'm just gonna keep my wigs in here just because I was gonna have them out on display in the actual glam room, but I don't want the room to be too cluttered. So anyway, yeah, that is going to be taking top priority over other rooms just because like I said, I need that room to work in. So that's gonna be one of the next um, rooms that you guys see me do. Of course, I'm gonna be making videos about it, so stay tuned on my channel if you guys wanna see the transformation of the glam room. But yeah, anyway, let me go ahead and review this video before it's time to pick up Zaya. Okay, just, oh, I almost fell. I just finished um, watching the video, giving feedback to my editor. I'm literally running like a couple minutes late to pick up Zaya, but I really needed to finish that because like I said, I'm on a time crunch with that. So that's good, finished, but now I gotta go pick up Zaya from school. Where are my keys? Ugh, I always do this to myself, like, trying to rush out the house the last minute. Got my keys, okay. Gotta go pick up Zaya. All right, just picked up Zaya. I actually made it like five minutes, you know, with five minutes to spare, and I was not the last mom. There were still several parents and several kids, so I was not late. We're heading back home. Zaya is all dirty from school. She needs to like change her clothes and stuff, freshen up a bit, and then I'm actually going to my mom's house for dinner tonight. Um, my little sister has a friend in town and we're just gonna have like a little family dinner before her friend leaves back out of town. So that's my dinner plans. I'm excited about that because <laughs> anytime I can like scam dinner, not scam, but go to my mom's house for food instead of having to make my own food <laughs> is a good time for me. You are filthy, dirty, nasty. Come back, you gotta take a bath. You need to take a bath first before we go to Grammy's house for dinner. And I really need to wash and detangle your hair. Hey, because with swim lessons, the hair has been an issue. <laughs> and she has like half of a, hey. All right, now she has like half of a hairstyle and I really just need to wash it, fully detangle it and restyle it. have dirt everywhere your feet are dirty what were you doing today at school oh. rolling around in the dirt no. <laughs> what were you doing oh okay so Zaya is literally in the bathtub but as I was in here putting her in the bath I was looking around the bathroom and I just had the random urge to take this towel bar off of here similarly to how I took it off in my bathroom I just don't really like the placement of it I've never really liked towel bars that are right above the toilet because it just feels like you kind of have to reach over the toilet and if the toilet lid is ever up it kind of makes you feel like you might drop your towel into the toilet I don't know I just don't really like that placement and there is this other wall over here on the opposite wall where the door opens up like this and there's just this empty space. So I really feel like if there was some hooks or something right here, that would be a better, like easier place to access the towel. And for right here in between where the shower and the mirror, if I take that off, this could be a good spot to just put a piece of artwork just to make it look cuter in here. So this is kind of what she has going on in here right now. So I've already got all this like 
pink and gold girly stuff in here so a nice like piece of art that kind of ties all this together would look a lot better right there rather than the towel bar I think so I actually already have these little hooks it's like a little piece of like marble or something in there these gold hooks I had these already from Zaya's bedroom in the old apartment I have three of them I think I only need to use two of them in here maybe I'll use the extra one somewhere else I guess it would be nice if Zaya could reach it herself but then I'd have to put it way down here and I feel like that just looks weird so there's those done like that <laughs> Okay, so here are a couple of options of artwork to put in there just based on what I already had from my previous apartment, stuff that I kept. So I used to have this in my master bathroom, start each day with a grateful heart because it's like you start your day in the bathroom. So I thought that was cute. And then these two used to be in Zaya's room. This one has the nice pink and gold color scheme that matches her bathroom perfectly but it says let her sleep for when she wakes she will move mountains so it's talking about sleeping which kind of only makes sense to put in the bedroom not in the bathroom and then there's this one which just says love and it's just like gray and gold so this one definitely fits that's cute with all the rest of the stuff going on over here that one i think is also cute it's a little bit big might be too big okay so actually i figured out what to do with the third little gold hook so i have these two right here right right this is looking cute but then for the third gold hook i actually took this towel ring off it was right here and that's where the towel was for the sink but it was kind of like they put it in a weird place they put it like really far over here by the mirror and really high up like it's hard for you guys to tell I can't get a good angle but it was just kind of in an awkward place normally it's like a little lower down and a little further towards you like when you're standing at the sink so anyway I just used the third hook that I had left over to use for the hand towel right here by the sink instead of using that ring and I was able to move the towel over to a little bit more of an easier to reach spot you can see where the holes are like how how like weird the placement was so yeah I like it a lot better like this it also helps to hide the plug right here and I know it's a little bit more messy to have your towels like hung on a hook like that instead of like folded nicely hanging on the ring or the bar but for a kids bathroom I think it's okay for it to be a little bit more like casual like that and not have to have everything like perfectly folded because you know it's not gonna stay perfectly folded anyway in a kid's bathroom. Saya's hair has been washed and detangled so now I just have to do the other side and then we will be heading over to my mom's house for dinner. And this is our little setup. Usually I sit on the couch, she uses her little chair and either she watches her iPad or she watches the TV over here which just helps her to obviously like distract her so I can do her hair and she just sits still. And I'll be doing more videos about styling Zaya's hair and trying new products and stuff pretty soon. So be on the lookout for that. Turn around, let me see. Ooh. Can I turn around like a princess? Turn around like a princess? Okay, go ahead. Wow. You ready to go to Grammy's house and eat some dinner? And then I think we should come home and clean this up. What do you think? Y'all like TJ, y'all can smell food being uh, cooked. All right, back from my mom's house now, getting ready for her bed. I'm gonna end this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed spending the day with me. Let me know if you like this type of vlog where I kind of just take you around 
for the whole day of like whatever I'm doing. Shout out again to Marshalls for sponsoring this video. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.